everyone, you're welcome to Explore Insights. In this content, I'd like to talk about the procedure in drawing a level zero, also known as context diagram. Now we want to analyze a case on how to draw context diagram. Who we do with the system, the tax and action to be performed by the system, and also it will be showing us the relationship. Take note that this is my second video on data flow diagram. In this case, I want to elucidate on how to draw efficiently a context diagram. So let's consider an example. So we'll be using this as a case study. Consider Sweet Coffee, a new coffee shop at CDUT University campus. The shop owner recently decided to develop a coffee ordering system. Now, these are the activities of what the system will be doing. So let's read through. The system takes orders directly from customer, send the coffee order to the barista, monitors goods sold and inventory, and generates reports for the shop manager. If the customer pays by credit or debit card, the system will also send a cash withdrawal request to the bank. And when approved, the system will generate receipts for the customer. Now let's take note that what we are trying to develop here is a coffee ordering system. So to draw a context diagram, we need to identify that we have a system. And we need to know who will work with the system, which is referred to as the external entity. So let's see how we can identify these external entities. Therefore, in drawing the system, we need one of the DFD components. In this case, we'll be using the process components. Do well to watch my first video as I vividly explained on the different components on data flow diagram. So I'll go ahead to watch out for the external entities. So let's read through. It says the system takes order directly from customer. Now our customer here will be represented with the external entity components. So let's go further. It says, sends the coffee order to the barista. Once we go ahead, we have monitors, goods sold, and inventory, and generate reports for the shop manager. Now in this case, we have, if the customer, it means this customer, pays by credit or debit card, the system will also send a cash withdrawal request. Okay, so let's see the customer cash withdrawal request. The system will also send a cash withdrawal request to the bank. So now we have another external entity. So how many entity? One, two, three, four. So we have four external entities. And when approved, the system will generate receipts from the customer. Since we already have the customer, we won't be adding that up. So from that case, we could identify four external entities, which are customer, barista, shop manager, and bank. I'll make a recall that the context diagram has only one process which is coffee ordering system with the reference tag as zero. So let's go ahead to draw each information. So now we start with the system takes orders directly from customer. This system will need one of the DFD components, which is process, whereas the customer will be using the entity components from here we want to know 
what is the relationship between the system and the customer? And we could see here that it takes others. But remember, in my first video, I said that it has to be labeled as now. So we will remove the verb takes and go on with others. So we have the process components with the name coffee ordering system, the external entity, the name customer, and our data flow having the name others. Now let's look at the second one. Take note of this comma. It means the system is still taking in more actions. Now it says sends the coffee order to the barista. Who? The system. So it says the system sent the coffee order to the barista. Now we will retain the process component and Realizing that in the initial diagram, we don't have barista, we will go ahead to use the external entity component and name it as barista. Now, what is the data flow? What is the relationship between the system and barista? It's actually saying the coffee order, but we'll go ahead to write coffee order and eliminate the verb. So let's see. So this is what we'll have. So the coffee ordering system sends send the coffee order to the barista. Okay, so third on the line, we have monitors goods sold and inventory and generate reports for the shop manager, who the system, which is the process components. Now let's see. To who? The shop manager. What action is actually generate reports for the shop manager? So we'll paraphrase this to say management reports. So here we have management reports. The coffee header, management reports. And our information for the data flow will be management reports. So let's see the other one. If the customer pays by credit or debit card to the system, so let's pause here because we have a comma. So what do we have? We have the external entity and the process component. So if the customer pays by credit or debit card, pays by credit or debit card actually shows the action that is the data flow information between the customer and the system. So let's see what it will reflect as. So we can see that this is the customer, this is the system. And what is the data flow information? Credit card payments. So going next, we say the system will also send a cash withdrawal request to the bank. Looking at the Previous slide, we don't have any entity for bank. So we'll go ahead to create a new entity and name it bank. Also for the data flow, it says send a cash withdrawal request. So we have to shorten this, taking away the verb. So let's see. Here we have withdraw requests to the bank. So this is a new entity. And let's see another one. It says, when approved. Yeah, where? Sometimes transaction can be rejected or accepted. So in this case, it says, when approved. Who approved the bank? To who? The system. So let's see the diagram. So we have this. The bank approves. Okay, withdraw approval was done to the system. So we have this. We need data flow information as withdraw approval. So next in the line, it says the system will generate receipts for the customer. So here yeah, we have system and customer. We won't be creating another 
external entity because we already have customer and system. Now, what is the relationship generates receipts? So this shows us the data flow information. So let's see the diagram for this. So we have this. The coffee ordering system generates receipts for the customer. I hope you'll be able to understand the context diagram in this video. Do well to like and also subscribe to this channel. Additionally, I'll be putting up subsequent video for the level one diagram. In that video, we will decompose the context diagram level zero. Do well to watch the level one. I'll be signing off now. So bye guys.